Hello, let's take a look at some concentration examples. So for example one, a manufacturing pharmacist wants to mix 40%, 25%, 10%, and 5% zinc oxide ointments to make a 15% ointment. In what proportions should they be mixed? You want to set up the allegation grid, which has a percentage of higher strength on the top left percentage of lower strength in the bottom left, and percentage of the desired in the middle. This equation is a little different. You need two grids because you are adding four different concentrations. You want to insert the values into the corresponding sections of the grid. So for the first grid, you want to have 40%, which is the highest strength out of the four. And on the lower left corner, you want to have 5%, which is the lowest percentage strength out of the four. And you're making a 15%. For the second grid, you want to have 25%, which is the second strongest percentage strength or the highest strength out of the four. And 10% is the third strongest or third highest strength or the second lowest strength out of the four. And for the mid middle you want to have 15 percent. You want to subtract the higher and the lower strengths from the desired strength which is 40 percent minus 15 percent you get 25 parts. 5 percent minus 15 parts again these, num these numbers are in absolute you can't have any negative numbers. So 5 minus 15 equals 10 parts. 25 minus 15 equals 10 parts. And 10% 10 part, 10 minus 15% equals 5 parts. Then you want to do the proportions. So you have 50 parts total. You have 10 parts of the 40%. 5 parts of the 25 percent, 25 parts or t 10 parts of the 10 percent, and 25 parts of the 5 percent. So the parts again would be in descending order. So it would be 10 parts of the 40 percent, 5 parts of the 25 percent, 10 parts of the 10 percent, and 25 parts of the 5 percent. Let's look at example 2. If 50 milliliters of a combination gel of hydrocortisone acetate, 1% weight by weight, and promoxine, 1% weight by weight, are mixed with 14.5 milliliters of a gel containing hydrocortisone, 3.5% weight by weight, and promoxine, 1% weight by weight. Calculate the percentage strength of each of the two drugs in the mixture. So step one, you want to express the percentage of promoxine and calculate its quantity. So the percentage strength of promoxine is 1% weight by weight, which is also expressed as 1 gram per 100 grams, equals 0 0.01. You're trying to get the percentage pretty much in a decimal point. So 0 0.01 times 50 milliliters of combination gel would get you 0 0.5 grams of promoxine. Then you want to do 0 0.01 which was also 1% weight by weight of the second gel of promoxine times 14.5 milliliters of the gel, you get 0 0.145 grams of promoxine. You want to then add them together, so 0 0.145 grams, which is the grams of promoxine in the second gel, plus 0 0.5 grams, which was the promoxine grams in the first gel, equals 0. 0.645 grams of total promoxine. Then you want to take the total of promoxine, which is 0 0.645 grams, over 64.5 milliliters, which is the total volume of the two gels, times 100%, and you get a total of 1% of promoxine. So in the total of the two gels, after you combine them, of 64.5 milliliters, the concentration of promoxine is still 1%.
makes sense when you add one percent to another one percent the concentration doesn't go up or down it's still a one percent let's look at step two you want to express the percentage of hydrocortisone and calculate its quantity percentage strength of hydrocortisone in the first gel was one percent weight by weight which is also expressed as one gram over 100 grams equals 0 0.01 then you want to take that 0.01 and multiply it by 50 milliliters of the combination gel and you get 0.5 grams. And now in the second gel you had a 3.5% weight by weight of hydrocortisone which is also expressed as 3.5 over 100. So this should be 3.5. over 100 and you get 0 0.035 then 0 0.035 times 14.5 milliliters of gel equals 0 0.5075 grams you want to then add these two masses of the hydrocortisone from the two gels so 0 0.5075 grams plus 0 0.5 grams equals 1 0.075 grams of hydrocortisone total so that's the amount in grams of hydrocortisone from the two gels then you want to take 1.075 grams divided by 64.5 milliliters which is the total volume of the two gels and you get 0 0.0156 times 100 percent you get 1.56 percent of hydrocortisone so what that's telling you is when you add 1% from the 50 milliliters of combination gel to 3.5% of hydrocortisone in the 14.5 milliliters of gel, you get a 1.56% of hydrocortisone. Thank you.